God. Why do you have three computers? Oh, I know. It's crazy. I do have three computers. Before, I had four computers. Uh, now, I only have three computers. I have three computers because I use computers for my job. Oh. So, I have one computer for my house, mm. my one laptop computer for my house, and mm. I always keep that computer at my house. So, um, it's heavy. It's a MacBook Pro. And I don't like to carry it, so I leave it at home. And I have a MacBook Air. It's very light. It's not heavy. And I use my MacBook Air when I travel, when I go to school, when um, I go downtown to a cafe. So, yeah, I have one computer for home and one computer for when I travel. And how about the other one? Oh, the other computer. The other computer is old. It's also a MacBook Pro, and it's seven years old. Wow. Yeah, it still works. It works really well, but I use it as a backup computer. So sometimes I need a computer in case one computer fails. Uh -huh. Also, sometimes my friends need a computer, and I lend my computer to my friends. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's, it's easy. I like that. What do you do if you need something that's on the other computer? Well, I use cloud computing. Mm -hmm. So I use Dropbox. So Dropbox shares everything. So all computers are linked mm -hmm. and they share all the files. So it's no problem. How about phones? How many do you have? I have three phones also for my job. Uh, I have an iPhone, I have a Samsung Galaxy, and I have a Nokia Windows phone. Oh, really? Yeah. Which one do you like the best? Mm, that's tough. I think I like the Samsung Galaxy the best because it's bigger and it's easy to read. But the iPhone has good apps. I like the apps on the iPhone, and the iPhone is very reliable. So it always works. Um, so, yeah. How about the Nokia? The Nokia is also a good phone. Uh, it's a Windows phone, and I travel a lot. So when I travel, I always take the Nokia phone, and I use a new SIM card in the country, and then that is my phone mm -hmm. when I travel. I usually leave my Galaxy phone or my iPhone at home. You say you use your phone for work. How? Oh, so I create websites, mm -hmm. and so I need to check how websites look on different phones. So every time I make a website, I check it on the Nokia phone, I check it on the Samsung phone, I check it on the iPhone. So I make sure the website works on all smartphones. Does the website often have problems with one phone or a different phone? Usually not. Usually everything is okay. But sometimes media files like audio files or video files do not work on the phones. So sometimes I have to change things. But usually it works. Ah. How about you? How many computers do you have? Well, at home... We have one laptop, and it's kind of big, so I don't usually take it out with me. And then we have a personal computer, and we also have a tablet, an iPad. Oh, yeah. And I don't use the iPad very much. It's usually used by my daughter. She's two, and she loves to play games on the iPad. Right. So it's an expensive toy. <laughs> <laughs> so your daughter likes the iPad. Mm -hmm. You like the laptop? I like the laptop, yes. And the personal computer? The personal computer is my husband's. And we also use it as the family computer when we want to watch a movie or watch a TV show, something like that. Oh, wow. Sounds good. And phones? Phones. Well, I have my own phone. I have a Sony phone. It's an Xperia. 
and I like it. It's big, so sometimes my fingers can't reach all the buttons, but I can watch videos on it. I like that. And when I leave the country, I can't use it in other countries, but I can use the Wi-Fi, so that's convenient. Yeah, that is convenient. Okay, thanks a lot, Sarah. Thank you.